Hi, good evening, uh, Chef. Uh, it's, good evening, it's, uh, it's always nice to, to have you uh, out here. Uh, thank you for uh, coming out to do this cook fire with us. Um, it's always uh, good to have a legend like you to be uh, part of our uh, video. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, so tell me about this brand that you got uh, just launched, right, SC? Right, yeah. Um, I, you know, something I wanted to, to, to do since, you know, um, since a kid coming up and struggling to get cricket equipment and um, it was never easy as a kid, you know, people from overseas always bring in equipment to give you and, um, you know, you, uh, you're in a position now that you can probably help in that situation, bringing up, getting your own brand out there. And um, I thought about, you know, um, getting SC out there and, um, you know, um, something to, to, to give back, like, you know, uh, to the, the cricketing community. And also, I mean, over the years playing cricket, uh, you know, all the experience you gain from playing cricket, all the knowledge you gain with cricket equipment, I mean, some of those stuff you can impart into whatever you, you put in out there. So you have good quality stuff, you have um, good um, balance, well picked up um, cricket bat and um, everything that a batsman would need um, um, with um, cricket bats and, and every other stuff that is going to be uh, made to, 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 for the SC brand. Great. Well, hopefully uh, things go well for you. Oh, uh, thank you. Yep. We're going to start with uh, your favorite shot. Well, that's um, definitely um, a clip through middle wicket. Yeah. yeah, that's definitely will be one of my favorite shots. Yeah. All right. Best memory of the game. Um, obviously, coming into the game, um, my first tournament with Westernies senior team, playing my making my debut in 1994. Um, Brian Laurel scoring his um, 400. And, I mean, 375 in Antigua, breaking Sir Gary Silver's record. That is definitely one of them. Scoring um, my first Test hundred in Barbados and scoring my first hundred at Lords. That's some of the you know my best memories. Yeah. Oh, good, good. Toughest bowler you faced? Yeah, that is gonna be Wazi Makram. You know, he's uh, one of those guys who is he's got the ability to do whatever he wants to do with a cricket ball, and you can never take him lightly. You always have to be watchful that whenever he's got the ball in his hand. Um, I remember a story in Pakistan when. Um, um, Carl, Carl Hooper and myself batting and uh, Carl was on 85 and Carl said to me that um, he saw Wazim warming up but Wazim wanted to bowl from the end, Sacklin was bowling out and Carl said to me, um, you see Azar warming up to come on to bowl there also to, to make the switch so he said, um, you know, before, he, before Wazim come on, I'm going to get the 100 he actually did, he hit um, Azar over extra cover for 6, he hit him over long arm for four, and then um, he got the boundary the next over. He got a boundary from um, he got a single, then he got a boundary from um, from Sacklin, and he, he's got it. He's got a hundred. And then I remember that ne the first over was him bowl, and that same over was him was able to get him out. And the way was him set him up with a couple outs from over the wicket, then come around the wicket, and a couple outs again, and then was him did not bowl a ball that come back, and the one ball that he brought back. He was watching hoops and the way he was leaving the ball and the ball, he was leaving a little gap between his bat and pad and the man brought that ball back through that little gap. He did not bring back any ball, just that one ball he brought back and went through that gap. I mean, this is the skill these guys have and you always have to be watchful for these things. Mm. Favorite roommate? Um, there's a couple of guys. Um, Jimmy is one of them who helped me a lot from the beginning um, of my career. Talked to you a lot, helped you through a lot of difficult times and yeah, he's one of the guys who will pick you up and let's go practice, let's go and do this. So you learn a lot of stuff from Jimmy. And then when he's gone, then Darren came into the picture. Darren Ganga and I, we, you know, we share room for a decent, a long time also. So yeah, they're two good guys, you know, to have around, you could chat with and you know, share, share good times with them, yeah. Right. Um, funniest cricket moment in the field? Ah, uh, shoots. <laughs> um, oh, I could remember one in India. Um, I was feeling that first slip and Varunda Seva was batting and <laughs> Darren Sami is our captain and I know the pace that um, Sami was bowling at, Varunda couldn't hit him in certain areas that easy because there was not much pace on the ball. So Varunda said to Sami, um, I think you should move that slip out, you know. <laughs> I was standing the slip 
So his, he said, Viru said to him, I think you should move that slip. Oh, there's no need. You, 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 it's not doing anything there. I could hit the ball there and there. I, I score easy. And soon as Sami said, yeah, I, I think I should move him out. And then he moved me to middle wicket, short middle wicket, because they were clipping the ball and short middle wicket get singles too. And as soon as he moved me out, and I know what Varinda was going to do. He's just waiting for a little bit of room to just run the ball there. And he just run the ball down third man and got boundary. So it was like, I could not believe Sami did that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Verona was just like, I'm, I'm going to use that. <laughs> um, what would you say for younger kids that are coming up and started to play cricket uh, now, in their early in their career, something you would say from your experience is a mental preparation for the game? Oh, well, obviously, it's you know, a lot of things go through your mind as a as player. Um, you know, a lot of doubts sometimes go into your head. And they say that little mind in your head keep talking to you, keep putting things in your head. Sometimes they put things in your head that not even the opposition knows about, right? That ways to get you out or um, what is the best ball can, you know, def all the things that you know that you can get out with. All these are things that goes into your head and, it, and sometimes you have a couple of a bad innings and you feel, um, you know, you feel your confidence has gone down and you need to build that back up again. But the thing is that you just need to go into the nets and do your work. Work on all the areas that you need to, to work on. If you're struggling in a certain area, just don't sit and just expect it to be fixed. It's not going to fix. Go and do the extra work on it. I'm not saying neglect the other areas. Don't neglect any other areas. You have to play your shots. You have to have the solid defense. Work on your defense. I mean, work on your game. I mean, if you're a bowler, you're a batter feelers you have to work on your game so it gives you that extra confidence so when you get out there you know you've done some work you've put in all the hard work you've done all the right things that you need to, do, to get done uh, so when you get on the park you, it gives you that extra confidence and a little more belief that you can get your job done and do whatever you can done I mean can do out there and that's all you need you need a little more belief that you can go out there and get this job done I mean what is gone is past you just have to put that behind you and find a way to move forward and think think ahead you know don't don't think too much in the past always look at people who've done well also don't look at too much in uh, failures look at positive things that would help you to build your esteem and go out there and perform all right one last question um your favorite or your best moment about uh shane Warne? oh definitely um sydney australia um is it 1996 um you know, I was, it, when we went out in the morning, I mean, Carl and myself were there and it was a lot of talk from, um, you know, was it Mark? Mark was in the slip, Mark Wall was in the slip, and Shane Wan was in front, you know, and the two of them were murdering us with the chat, you know, and now he was like, all right, we up for a challenge here, you know, let's, let's take it on and let's see what's happening. So I did, you know, I was going at him, I was going at Shane, and got some to something in no time and it was close to lunch it was the last of it for lunch and I saw him bowl that ball you know really wide out there and I was uh, saying to myself you know I'm going to just leave this I just want to survive survive and get in get into lunch and then come back out so I'm going to just leave this and I saw the ball pitch out and I when I saw it spinning back I tried to get my bat down to play it but it was I know I hit my pad and butt went out and the ball passed through so, I mean, that was one, definitely one of the moments there you would always remember. A ball like that to get you out. I've not scored a test hundred. I was looking, really looking forward to, to come back after lunch and, and see if, you know, dig as hard as I can to get to that first test hundred. And he delivered a ball like that, which was, I mean, to, to a lot of people, it's unplayable. Um, you, you never expect the ball to have done that much, but that is the, the skill of the guy. The guy know what he can bowl. He know what he what he can do. Also, he has the variation to destroy, and I mean to, to to spin a ball that big. He can destroy you if he wants to, and you know he's give you he will give you chat, but he can back it up. That I know for sure that he can back up what he's dishing out. You know, right. yeah. Definitely a legend, right? Yeah, oh, definitely, definitely. Well, Shiv, thank you so much for uh, spending the time with us. Um, we'll uh, have more in the future. Sure, sure. That's definitely my pleasure, man. Thank you. Cheers. Yep. Cool.